A three-day hearing begins today in Leon County Circuit Court to decide whether to block enforcement of the governor's order banning schools from imposing mask mandates unless parents can opt out of those requirements. A growing number of Florida school districts are defying the governor's order by permitting masks, opt-outs, only for medical reasons rather than parental choice. The state following through on its threats to withhold school funding on at least two school districts so far, Broward and Alachua counties. Joining me on the morning show, Addison Davis, the Hillsborough superintendent and former head of Clay County Schools. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing, sir? Great, sir. Appreciate you joining us. So any word from Tallahassee about sanctions against Hillsborough yet? You know what? We haven't had any communications yet from uh, the, to Tallahassee, but we hope that we can be able to work collectively and uh, on the on the foundation act for our students and also for all the children in our in our school district. But please know that our board has worked really uh, intentionally uh, and really to focus on the safety of every one of our students and also protect the working conditions of our adults. So, you know, hopefully we can work and uh, protect our organization financially. So we just focus on children. So, if the sanctions were to come, what's been discussed by your attorneys? You know what? We certainly don't want to be put in a position where public servants are, are getting paid or losing paychecks uh, for the important work that they do and we do. Regardless, the board took a really solid stance where they believe they had to step out from being an organizational leader to be a civic leader due to the fact that COVID-19 has had a tremendous impact within our community. Our positive rates and quarantine numbers uh, will openly have been very high in the first week. So they made a sound decision suited for this community. And, and my role and responsibility is to implement their vision and really protect the, uh, our, our children every day. Does the fact that the Department of Education on the federal level decided to step in and take care of any funds uh, maybe that maybe withheld assuage your worries a bit? You know, what? Yeah, our district has, you know, faced some really financial challenges in the last year and the pandemic has really exacerbated it. So me and my staff work really diligently to swing the over $100 million deficit. So, you know, federal government coming in to be able to help us financially, we hope we don't have to get to that part. And we hope we can just continue to work uh, in the best interest of children and work collectively with Tallahassee uh, to ensure that no penalties will be sanctioned, especially during this 30 day uh, concentration related to, uh, to making masks a uh, mandatory within our school district. So let me go back to something you just said after a highly charged debate. The board decided to impose the mask mandate for at least a month because of an overwhelming number of students and staff who are under coronavirus quarantine or in isolation. Is it even frustrating that politics interferes at all with student and staff safety? Uh, the answer is, is yes. You know, for, for, for me, my job is to be a downfill blocker for, for every district leader, school-based leader, teacher, support staff, drive, you know, driver, every employee in the organization. So we've got to move the conversation or, you know, outside of adults and really focus on children. And, uh, you know, for, for me, it's about working collectively with Tallahassee, working collectively with our board, in order to make informed decisions. And, um, but unfortunately, this is the world in which we live and we've got to navigate through it. So, you know, hopefully we can find a, uh, you know, a, a, a solid position that, that really uh, educates Tallahassee, educates our community and they feel at peace of the decision in which we've made. I know initially before the vote, you didn't want to get into any tussle <laughs> with Tallahassee, but Article 9 of the Constitution actually provides for local jurisdictions to, to set the rules. Is it frustrating that that is not the case? You know, as superintendent, my role responsibility is to drive this organization towards successful financial future. So no matter what happens in the situation, my goal is to make certain that we are on solid financial footing. And so we continue to provide innovative solutions that we've implemented in the last 17 months when I've been in Hillsborough County. We've done some really nice uh, work with eliminating 50% uh, of our DNF schools, being able to address the financial side of it, accelerating learning to, to be able to help our children that have needed us the most. So from our side of it, we, we just got to continue to focus on the success of our children, create the safest environment every single day so that we can really navigate through COVID-19 and this pandemic and the new variant to allow our children know we're there for them emotionally, socially, intellectually, and that, uh, you know, they feel that they have a psychological place to come to work all day. All this other stuff is just noise. We've got to focus on children and not adults. Kids and safety first. Addison Davis, appreciate you. Have a great day. You stay safe. Thanks, sir. Have a good day.